everyone, and welcome once again to another edition of the Red Brown and Williams Real Estate Show. Fifty of them, actually, is what we've done. Today is our 50th show, and we were just sitting and talking about it, and time has flown. It absolutely has. I honestly can't believe that we've done this 50 times. I think I've actually done 48, because I had a couple replacements a couple times, you but did. you are actually at 50. I am, and it's been a great run. We've been doing it for over a year, mm -hmm. and we're running on Saturday mornings with some repeats throughout the other times, and it's just people are starting to catch on. Well, they've caught on a while back, but you're being recognized now at the grocery store, <laughs> and people are starting to call and say, hey, I want to list my home with you, and I want it on the television show. Absolutely. It's actually funny how often that happens to some of our agents. Um, we mm -hmm. definitely are kind of known for now for getting the listings out, and I want to say thank you to everybody who has listed with us or allowed Red Brown and Williams to be a part of your buying or selling process. It really is a great honor, and we really do appreciate the business. And you guys have found through this show another way to help people understand what all you guys do. Absolutely, and that's something, you know, we have a lot of different avenues that we cover in real estate mm -hmm. with real estate and appraising and auction, and a lot of people don't know a whole lot about some of that. Buying and selling is one thing, but some of the other stuff, this has allowed us to share that information. Stuff you can't do in a 30 second commercial. Exactly. <laughs> well, hopefully we've got 50 down and we've got a lot more to go. We hope so. So, but I know one thing we do have today is five listings. Mm -hmm to talk about with you. And let's start out with one that's actually out of the Paintsville office. Okay, this one is located, like you said, out of the Paintsville office, but the listing is actually in Sagersville. Now this one is, if first of all, you're saying, wow, it's on a level lot, mm -hmm. and it is a very large home. It is. This house is almost 1,900 square feet, plus it has a detached area that would make a great guest house or an apartment or even a man cave, something along those lines. So it has additional square footage that's not counted in that original 1900. Right, so you're already looking at almost 2,000 square feet, which mm -hmm. is a nice size home. Well, you've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms, so that tells you how much space you've got for your family. And then, for anybody looking to expand, you've got this blank slate over to the side that you can do whatever you want with. Absolutely. And even if you've got a small business or something like that, you know, mm -hmm. if you're looking for a little bit of office space or you work from home, it sounds like that would be the perfect area. And then on the interior pictures, I mean, it looks very spacious. It does. It looks like it's got a fairly open floor plan. We've got hardwood flooring, wood trim. It does have custom kitchen cabinets, stainless mm -hmm. appliances that will stay with the property. Um, and it also has some tile flooring in the kitchen and bathrooms. So you can see it's a fairly new house. It was just built in 1999, mm -hmm. obviously been well taken care of, and it's got all those upgraded materials, which is great. Right, and it is located in Sayersville, mm -hmm. and if you've traveled anywhere, uh, toward Lexington lately, you understand the Mountain Parkway expansion is going on. That is a growing area. And this area, this house specifically, is located in a very convenient location. You're right off Route 40, close to where the post office is, for those mm -hmm. familiar with Salyersville. Um, this actually sits on a corner lot. It's a large level lot, about .66 of an acre, which is quite a bit of land in right. the downtown area. If you're interested, give this one uh, a, a second look, and you can do it. get that scheduled uh, by calling the Paintsville office. You can. Call the Paintsville office, the number 606-789-8119, and ask for Cliff. All right, the price on this one, $295,000, and when you do get a hold of Cliff, <laughs> tell him 107-622. That's the MLS number that will pull this McGoffin County listing right up. Now moving on to the next couple of uh, listings that we've got, we'll group them into one because mm -hmm. these are both land. They are, and they're both land in the Johnson County area, um, and they're actually both listed by Kathy out of our Paintsville office. So if you have questions on either one of the next listings, Kathy is the person that you would give a call. The first one is one acre of property for $16,500. You don't find that very often. That is correct, and this is really close to US 23. It's in the East Point area, right off of Route 1750. The great thing about this lot is there are no restrictions. So like you said, mm -hmm. if you're looking to do a mobile home, if you're looking to build, whatever you're wanting to do, there are no restrictions with the actual lot as to what can go there. 
Now there is a gas line that runs through part of this property, so we want to make sure that people are prepared to build kind of around that easement, but even with the easement, you've got one acre of property to work with and work around, right. plenty of land to do something great, especially at that price. Right. So this one is in the East Point area. Now the second piece of land that we've got um, is in Van Leer. So it's also in Johnson County, but a little bit different of an area. It is, and it's a little bit different piece of land. The first one was a lot. This one is actually acreage. Mm -hmm. This is 55 acres. It includes some level, some hillside. It does have public water available, a septic system already on site, and is already partially fenced. Like the other one, it also has no restrictions. So anything that you would want to do with the land, it is ready to go. Anytime that you can say we have land and it has no restrictions, that should get anyone's attention in the market for property. Absolutely, and it's kind of an open book when that happens. You have mm -hmm. a little bit of flexibility and you can do whatever works best for your needs. Right, and this one's on Sycamore Creek Road in Van Leer, 55 acres for $60,000. So mm -hmm. the price on that one, with all the possibilities is definitely worth a look. Absolutely, and again, if you do want to look at it, give Kathy in the Paintsville office a call, mm -hmm. or you can look at the website, which is rbnw.com for more information. Right, and you can always put in these MLS numbers that are on your screen, they'll pull them up. Sometimes we've got room for four pictures. In this case, since we've got two, we've got two apiece. Sometimes on the website, there are more, so it's always Absolutely. good to look. All right. Now moving along back into Prestonsburg for this next listing. And this is a new listing in the Allen area. If you're familiar with um, coming into Allen, you would turn onto 1428 like you're going towards Allen Elementary, mm -hmm. that direction depending on which way of 23 you're coming from. And you're going to be looking for Taylor Loop, which will come up on your left. And it's not very far off of US 23. So, you know, we've had some listings in this general area mm -hmm. before and the number one thing we say about them is convenience. And it also, you know, if you have in-laws that come and stay mm -hmm. a lot, or if you have a parent that actually is living with you, or an older child who wants to have their own bathroom and mm -hmm. needs a little bit of privacy, having two master suites really, really makes that nice. Right. And then on the outside, you've got a two-car carport and a storage building. So always it's a bonus when you can say there's extra storage. Exactly. And for anybody that's familiar with this area, some of that area in the Allen um, kind of district right there does have some floodplain. This property is out of the floodplain. And this is a new listing, so it's not been on the market long. Mm -hmm. and, and with all of the features that we're talking about, I hope it doesn't stay on the market very long. <laughs> Beautifully remodeled home. Again, this is just off of the Allen Red Light. So between Prestonsburg and Paintsville, great location. $125,000 is all that they're asking for it. So if you're in the market for that, give Jeremy a call. Let's give a phone number there. Okay, you can go ahead and call the Paintsville office at number 606-789-8119. All right. And that MLS number 10772, let them know that. They'll pull it up and get your showing schedule. Mm -hmm. All right, now the next couple are your personal listings, uh, and they're right here in Pikeville. They are. Uh, both of these are within the Pikeville city limits. The first one is located at Keezer Heights Circle, mm -hmm. which if you're familiar with that neighborhood, you turn, go up the hill. At the uh, first stop sign, you're going to make a right, and then you're going to make a left onto Keezer Heights Circle, and this is the last house in the cul-de-sac. And I would consider this a semi-private lot because mm -hmm. like you said, and you can actually see it in the main picture, you actually back up to the hill. You've got a little bit of where the hollow comes down. You've got a little bit of that extra property. It's kind of a triangle shape, mm -hmm. but you have some of that privacy that you don't usually get when the houses are in a straight line. So it allows you to have a little bit of a private backyard. Well, and you can see that in the picture of the front of the home. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, you can tell you've got that nice driveway there. You see the storage building. You see the front yard, and then you're also saying that there's a fenced-in backyard. This one also, since we're talking about the outside, has two storage buildings mm -hmm. that come with it. It also has a large rear deck. Um, it's not covered or anything, but it could make great grill spot, a great spot to sit out and enjoy that private backyard. Mm -hmm. Great area. And then on the interior pictures, I love that you included the big stone fireplace mm -hmm. because we are getting into the colder weather. Those fires are going to be something that we really cherish in this cold weather. And you can imagine, you know, 
putting up the Christmas tree beside that mantle and sitting there and enjoying a big cold winter night. Exactly. And the great thing about the fireplace is it actually kind of is in the middle of the house. So it's kind of a center point for the entire house anyway is that big fireplace. So just imagine, put yourself and your family in this home and imagine that being the gathering spot mm -hmm. for all your family events. Absolutely. It'd be a good one. All right. Now this is one they can call you in the Pikeville office on, right? Correct. You can just call the Pikeville office 437-2333. 154.9 is the price on this one inside the city limits of Pikeville, uh, located on about a quarter of an acre. So definitely an attractive price and an attractive listing. Absolutely. Hopefully we get some listings. Okay. Some showings. Yes. Um, now we're going to end the show with a house that you actually said at one point, you kind of had your fingers <laughs> crossed to hoping it was yours. Yeah, I actually, when I uh, moved to Pikefield 10 years ago, uh -huh. 11 years ago now, this was actually one of the houses that I considered. This house has a lot of space. It's divided up, so on the square footage you're going to see that it says 1509. Right. That is above grade. We've talked about that before. You also have 1167 below grade, partially finished. Mm -hmm. You've got two bedrooms on each floor. Wow. So if you only need two bedrooms for your personal space, mm -hmm. you could also separate it and actually have a bottom floor apartment or a rental unit of some sort for a medical student or anything like that. And we haven't even really described where the location is mm -hmm. on this. This is going to be interesting, or a lot of people are going to be interested in this, let's say that, because of where it is. It's in the downtown area of Pikeville, off of Hambly Boulevard, but it's not up on the hill. It's not. This is barely starting up the hill mm -hmm. and you turn right before you get where you're actually going up the hill. This is on Omba Street. If okay. you're familiar with where the turn is for Mount Martha off Hambly, you're going to take Mount Martha and then an immediate left onto Omba Street. So you talked about this this other potential rental space. Mm -hmm. Well, when we just told you where it is, you're thinking, like you said, medical students, college students, um, anybody that would work in the downtown Pikeville area, um, biking, walking, all of that, you see that going on in the evenings right on Hambly Boulevard. And you could do this literally right out of your front door. Now the bottom floor does not have a kitchen currently, but it does have a full bathroom, does have a living room with that fireplace that comes straight down from the other one, two bedrooms. So a kitchenette would be fairly minor adjustment to make if, if you wanted to do something like that. Once you come and see the home for yourself, when you take them and show them, they can decide where they want to put all these things. So we haven't given out your email address yet, so let's talk about if somebody would rather email you. Okay. The email is jbrown at rbnw.com. All right. The price on this one is $175,000, but like she said, expand it into a bigger living space for you, separate it, and maybe have some extra income coming in. Yeah. Lots of potential. All right. This one is definitely attractive. So we've given you some things to think about whether you're looking at land or houses, but always remember, as we mentioned earlier, you can go online and see everything that you guys have to offer throughout a huge region in Eastern Kentucky. Absolutely, and we invite you to do that. You can go onto our website, which is rbnw.com. From there, you can actually look at the EKAR website, which is our local association. Mm -hmm. Every listing in the area will be on there. And you can show every one of those listings. We absolutely can. All right. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. I'm going to step out, but Jennifer's going to hang around for a minute and do her real estate minute. The Red Brown and Williams family would like to take this Real Estate Minute to say thank you. We are honored to assist our clients and take great pride in being part of your home buying or selling process. Thank you for making RBNW Eastern Kentucky's number one real estate production and appraisal production company. All of our staff and agents truly appreciate your business and friendship for the past 65 years. And finally, thank you for watching our show and joining us week after week to discuss local real estate. We are honored to work with each of you and look forward to meeting our future clients. Thank you and see you again soon for the next episode of the Red Brown Williams Real Estate Show.